bioenzyme used for biodigester construction does not matter. This is what actually does matter. And this is the exact advice I give to new biodigester constructors in 2024. Using bioenzymes, which is a chemical for bioregulation in biodigesters, is part of biodigester construction. People have argued that without it, you cannot construct a biodigester and construct it perfectly. I have disagreed over the years with this assertion and I've shown it in several of my videos why I think it is not true. Because typically, I have constructed several biodigesters without using bioenzymes in them. That is the reason why I say that you do not need bioenzymes necessarily to construct a perfect biodigester for your dream house. The key ingredients and the biodegradable materials that you need and the type of soak away that you do where the wastewater is going is what will actually make your biodigester work. The wastewater is your biggest problem when it comes to biodigester construction. And that's what this video is going to show you. Construction of biodegradable simple on-site biodigesters require that you follow a simple procedure and the procedure is what matters in any construction what you must actually adhere to so in biodigester construction you need to make sure the site inspection is done you need to make sure the type of soil you are going to construct the biodigester on is this is good if it's not good then there are certain steps that you must take to ensure that this this type of biodigester you are going to construct works in that scenario if you go to a site and you meet clearly it's good you let the homeowner know they need the traditional soak away. After getting that soak away, it's possible they might need a water pump to occasionally get the water out of the wastewater treatment chamber. Otherwise, the digester will not work to perfection. If you go to a place and then the sun is good, the soil is good, you can do a simple soak hole pit or a drain flow system just for the wastewater. It's going to work well for you. Depending on the situation that you meet on the ground, that's what will determine the type of biodigester that you do. Now, the idea of bioenzymes basically is to help biodegrade human waste so it's been described by experts as the as a blend of superior aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms and then they are known for the ability to help degrade human waste faster i mean they work in a more faster way than the natural means of biodegradation that we we as biodigester constructed have come to know of so most of the time when we are constructed by the state, we are asked to help add bioenzymes to the bedding material, that's the bulking material to help it in the biodegradation process, the faster means of biodegradation of the human waste. So most people who are constructing biodigesters are always asking that they will have to add bioenzymes to it. I've done several videos that I've explained that I do not usually add bioenzymes to my biodigester construction, the key reasons being that after constructing several biodigesters, thousands of them over the years, I've come to realize that there are certain key components to biodigester construction that if you are aware of and you do know and understand it, you might not necessarily need to add bioenzymes to your initial or your first biodigester construction for a homeowner. If you do show up on site and you are going to construct a biodigester and then out of the bulking material is bioenzymes, it's okay, it's good, but it's not really the issue because if you do miss some of the key steps in terms of bioenzymes construction, you will still have the problem that you will have even if you do add bioenzymes to your bedding material. So basically that's what I'm trying to answer in this video by telling you that you can construct a biodigester without adding bioenzyme. And the reason is that for most toilets or for most human waste biodigesters, of biodegradation processes, the most problem that you do have is how to manage the wastewater. So if you do have an outlet for the wastewater, clearly defined, and you know that, okay, my wastewater is going to a soak away, my wastewater is going to a traditional soak away, or my wastewater, or my wastewater is going to a bigger drainage system. And then the elevation or the screening has been done in the biodegradation bed to such a extent that there's no water getting stuck in it, the shape pipe is taking the water away all the time, and there's a rapid separation of the human waste from the water, so that the water is immediately being let out of the biodigester. The bedding material that you are using, whether coconut husk 
or the fiber net, I mean the fiber, or you are using soda say, and manure or black soil, or you are using FOMs or any other means of biodegradation process, it will work fine, it will work well. And then you do not need to add any enzymes to enhance the biodegradation process. In my estimation, in my understanding, the only time you do need the bioenzyme is when you have done the biodigester and it has failed you and it's not working well. And then you are looking to rectify that problem so that the biodegradation, because there are human waste already in the system and it's not working well, then that's where you might need to introduce the bioenzyme so that it can work on the process that has already started over a month or over weeks and the biodigester has failed. You might need the bioenzymes to help it in that process. So that whatever is stuck in the digester can be biodegraded faster. So that's where you might need to introduce the bioenzyme. But how often are you going to introduce it? Unless you actually do, do the biodigester work and then it's working by its own natural process. What we say is that we biodigesters allow the elements, the locally sourced materials to work by themselves, right? Get it automated. I mean, if I can say that, you can get it automated and let the digestion process work by itself naturally then that's the only way the biodigester is going to last longer for the homeowner and then they are not going to be calling you severely to come and have it rectified because then you are bagging your hope and you are bagging all your you, you, all your understanding on using the bioenzyme to help you eat with the biodegradation so it means that if you if i don't let the steps well and i don't know i'm not i'm not expecting it i can do it just because i have the bioenzyme so if there's an issue, I'll just go and pour the bioenzyme in it. And that's not how you want to affect the construction of a biodigester bio and then use it as a business means of previously creating a brand for yourself or for your business and be well known for doing a good biodigester. So I always advise that learn the, the component well, learn the steps well, understand how the biodegradation works. And then if you have a bioenzyme, it's an add on, it's an added advantage. You can have it at the back of your car boot or as part of your biodegradation material in, in case you are doing a maintenance and then you can use it to eat your, your biodegradation process. So can you construct a biodigester without a bioenzyme? Obviously, yes, you can. And that's exactly what I do most of the time. Unless there's an issue and then I need to add a bioenzyme to help me biodegrade the human waste in a faster process. Using bioenzymes, which is a chemical for biodegradation in biodigesters, is part of biodigester construction. People have argued that without it, you cannot construct a biodigester and construct it perfectly. I have disagreed over the years with this assertion and I've shown it in several of my videos why I think it is not true. Watching the next video showing up on your screen will give you a fair idea about how biodigesters is and how they work and why probably they are your best bet when it comes to toilet waste water management here in Ghana.